Good morning, guys. Today is Sunday, June 20th. I'm in Jacksonville, Florida, and I'm delivering a car to the port, except today's Sunday, or it's not open. So for me to gain an extra day, gain I mean, pretty much, you know, 24 hours. Right now it's about, it's like 8.30, 8.30 in the morning. So let me show you guys how I'm about to cheat the system and do this a little bit differently. So there's a company out here called Rock and Roll Transport. That's her phone number. The lady's name is Nikki. So if you have a port delivery, and for example, right now it's Sunday, what you do is you give her a call, she gives you her uh, gate uh, code. As you guys can see, I open her gate. So she will give give you her gate code she has cameras so she's watching everything and you drop the car in there she has uh, an envelope you write all the information you email her the the port information that, that you have the booking number and all that stuff uh, from your customer you pay them you know via zelle Vemo, cash app all that stuff and that's it they'll take care of the vehicle for you now this is very important because i'm paying them uh this right here is it's advanced that they're charging me a little bit more i think i'm paying them 75 but cars are usually less i think they're like 40 50 bucks and i'm also storing it here from, from today to tomorrow so it's actually not a bad deal for me but check it out guys so again today's sunday it's you know 8 30 in the morning so i would have sat here until tomorrow monday at 8 30 before i could make this delivery so it is very crucial that i can do this this is a big part of business a lot of guys they don't do this they don't even go out of their way to find things like this or they'll think that you know 75 bucks is too much well that van paid me 1650 24 hours for me is worth how much you know tomorrow's monday i'm gonna start my day already delivering my other two vehicles so i'm dropping off the, the blue one so the blue one is staying here that van is going to puerto rico and these two i'm delivering tomorrow in miami so i'm going to start heading down i don't know it's about a five hour drive from here to miami so i'll be there you know this afternoon i'm going to hang out grab some food uh, i gotta i have somebody that i'm meeting for a business deal that i'm doing down here so i'll be able to take care of that and then tomorrow before noon th these two cars are off they're already delivered i don't even have a load leaving here yet but tomorrow morning before i finish delivering i'm probably gonna grab at least two vehicles on the board start picking those up and then head to my third so probably you know tuesday morning guaranteed i'll have everything picked up and i'll be heading back to boston but if i had to deliver this tomorrow then i would have been in miami tomorrow evening delivered these two i would have never made my pickups to start heading out so 24 hours in the truck is worth you know 1500 2000 1800 so if you're doing 10k a week and you know five six days so you're making at least 1500 a day so your day is worth at least 1500 so that that's a pro tip for you guys i call tow yards all the time to pick up cars for me that's one thing that I do. Um, I try to find people to pick up and deliver stuff for me all the time. That's something else that I always do. So there it is, pro tip. This is Jacksonville, Florida. And these people bring cars to Jacksonville Port. So I would definitely recommend using them, using their service. And social media guys. I actually found out these people through one of my um, through a guy that I that I talked to, a guy that I've that I've helped before, that he's helped me out before uh, with different things. So he recommended me uh, to use their service, and then other people also recommended me to use their service. And they specifically named the lady Nikki, so she must be around for a while doing this. I'm not sure, but yeah, there it is, guys. I'm gonna make this video kind of short. And this load paid me forty-seven hundred. 
me show you guys the load and I'll, exp I'll explain how how everything worked out here so you guys can understand so that last vehicle is full of stuff inside of it and it paid me originally it was paying me 1500 so I gave them a call I told them like hey that your van is packed to the brim and you guys are gonna have to pay me a little bit extra so let me show you guys what's going on in here so yeah the van is packed to the top full of stuff so this guy is moving back to Puerto Rico and he packed this van up so when I got there I told him hey uh, when you pack your van like this you gotta pay extra you know there's risk there's DOT can pull me over they might want to check the van or whatever right there's weight so you gotta pay extra so I charged me an extra 150 so this van this van was 15 it came out to 1650 this van was posted for 13 i asked for 14 and i got it and then this van just like the blue one it was also 1500 but i got it for 1650 because the broker didn't post that it was an in-op so when i got there i told them hey this van is an in-op you gotta pay me extra and they said oh well you know the 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 auction is gonna load it for you so you don't have any extra headache i told him that's not how it works if you wanted to ship a, a van that's an in-op with no headache you should have you should have posted on there van that's in-op will load forklift on and off whatever that's not what i signed up for i didn't sign up for a van that was an in-op i signed up for a run and drive van so you gotta pay extra for in-op fee in-op fee is a buck fifty so anyways uh the total came out to 4700 and it's about 1300 miles but it's about jersey to miami but as you guys can see i do have a space here from jacksonville to miami but i'm not even gonna load nothing uh so that's about 361 a mile and i just put these uh new two boxes here what do you guys think i like them I gotta go install my other round tank on this side. Just like I have on this side here. So this side is looking pretty good right now. Right? What do you guys think? Alright guys, like, share, subscribe. You guys know the deal, the drill. And I'll see you guys next time.